go up here, take a left on Dave Ward, back up towards Sonic and McDonald's, mm -hmm. and um, and there's ball fields if you take a left at McDonald's. He said like right by a Boys and Girls Club. What's the sign say? German. What's the sign say? German. Oh, mother. <laughs> What's that sign Left say? turn yield on flash. Can you not see the sign? Yes, Can you I not see, see it? it. Yes, I see it. I'm watching traffic, you dumb. <laughs> Purpless is a co-pilot, man. I don't know. Don't I'm give me the title to, of co-pilot. All this time you've been like, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm this, and I handle that, and you don't do <laughs> but sit there and take up <laughs> space and air. <laughs>
I'm curious to see what these guys look like. So, uh, supposedly you can carry like an iPhone on these, or in these, you can carry a few a few different things. Um, and it has some storage. You need to do that for you? Yeah, do that for me. But when it comes to hydration packs, I want to make sure $11. that they're... $11. 11 bucks. I wanted to make sure, and this is a 2 liter, I believe is what it said it was. I always want to make sure that there's proper storage in it. The one I carry now is a little tight on my back. And um, there's only enough storage in there to really fit a tube and a backpack. Or for the tube and a uh, pump. Dude. Oh, there's three of them. Good. I got plans in another tube, so. Made in China with waste pack. Check this out. All right, so uh, it comes with a bladder. It's a two liter bladder. It shows you how to install basically on the paperwork here. I like that it goes completely over the shoulders if we can see the entire thing. Okay, now here's a little slot that I've seen on the internet that will hold a phone. I don't uh, carry a phone. I carry a walkie talkie with me when I'm on the trails um, most of the time. It's got that. Yeah, let's not get into that. Uh, it's got another one on the left side. Some different um, harnesses and things you can hook up. Holy crap, it's got so much storage. Look at that. And one thing that I think is awesome, you know whenever you go to Walmart, Sam's Club, and you guys can buy those bags that are insulated? The whole inside is insulated. Something like that. Well, I think that's, that. You're a mess. That's a little much. But. That's like made around. for someone my size. Good lord. Yeah, well, you're a big yeah, guy. Once you turn around and model it there. Well, you're all floppy. Pretty comfortable. And what I do like about it is it kind of hugs you around the midsection down here. Mm -hmm. it's and what's, got, it's like Recaro seats. And what's nice about that is the one I have now, it kind of starts cutting into the bottom part of my uh, armpit here. And I don't like that. So we're calling it. We're not um, two bursts eating there yet. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So we got the water backpack. Once you yeah, have to with the pin. Minute. What, what the hydration pack. And let's, uh, let's look Are and see. Are you going to put everything in that thing? I'm gonna, yeah. Let's look and see if we can get everything inside the... Saddlebag. All right, so what we wanted to do is we did have it mounted on the GT Aggressor Pro seat, but I was trying to tell him that these are bent up and he was worried about how far back it will go on the seat and this not hit the post. So I mounted it on our Ozone seat. So we're about to see the... if it's a fail or success. Yeah, su fail or success. How close is it? <laughs> All right, you can see there we're a decent amount of ways. And I think if I mount it on the GT Aggressor Pro um, with the dropper, I think it'll stay out of the way. That was one of the things too. Uh, some of the uh, designs on these, on the saddlebags, is they mount here and they mount here. And I couldn't have that with the dropper post. So I wanted to make sure I got something that stayed off of that and just totally relied on the seat. And this right here looks like it'll do it. You that earlier. Anything you see on this video, you guys are interested in it, look in the description. You will see some affiliate links. Another thing I didn't mention. All right, now it is time for the burst heat and air safety portion. Should I do this again? No, no, no. Oh, I'm get all set up. All I'm right. So the first thing we got are some protective knee pads. Medium to small body pros. Anyway. Ooh, they smell good. They smell like brand new shoes. Smell it. All right, so Body Pro knee pads. I'm going to be putting these in and sporting them. They feel really good on the outside, and I like that they're a little bit longer underneath the knee and on top of the knee. You know, some of them that I've seen have been kind of short like this. On either and the side problem of the knee. on either side of the knee. And the problem when they're really short like that is they start cutting into that circulation, you know, like I've been wearing knee pads before. But these guys here look pretty long, so I'm liking that. Okay. And we got some elbow pads here, elbow protection pads, Body Pros. Oh, those are cool. Check that design out. God. I'll tell you what, if they put that tread on a tire, we would use it. Do they don't want don't try it on. No, I'm gonna try it on. No, no I'll way. stretch it out. You'll stretch that sucker. And these ones are uh, elbow pads. Are they small or medium? Medium. Uh, small, okay, medium. I thought maybe they're the same. They have unparalleled protection. Incredibly strategic. Strategic or strategic fabrication. It's incredibly oh, yeah. strategic. Strategic fabrication. Absolute snug fit. Huh? If you elbow me, I'll punch you. You gonna punch it? Oh. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to soak the protective knee pads in a pail of water. A pail. Don't do a bowl. Bucket. Don't do a bucket. Don't do a sink. It's a pail. We're using a bucket. Yeah. Five nice. gallons. All right. Full face helmet. Let's check it out. All right, so time for the helmet, I hope. But I'll tell you what, those knee pads and elbow pads are going to be really nice on the trails. 
Have you seen me? I'm just a big scar. Yeah, well, you've always been that way. Yeah. You got you got ran over by a parked car. So. I got ran over by a parked car one time. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Dude. Oh man, do the bottom, would you? Oh, dude. Very funky. Look at that camera. You see that? Dude. Dang. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Man. Well, yeah, that sucks when you mess that up. I'll tell you what, holy crap. Dude, if that's not going to provide some safety all the way around. I think everybody's dying to see you, see if it fits, so. Yeah. Why don't you, uh. Where's your mic at? Uh, there's a tag on the inside that says it is a small helmet. I hope that fits my head. I have a very egg-shaped head. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Check out the, uh, open and close there. The open and close. Check out the open and close. I hope my cauliflower doesn't get all messed up in there. What's, how's it gonna get messed up? Get all pinched up and feel like I'm in a triangle or well, something. I'm sure it's gonna. All I'm right. Have to readjust it. I'm gonna put a sweaty head in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh the oh, ears. No, the ears. The ears. The ears, Dad. The ears. The ears. It's Twenty oh. plus years of jujitsu. The ears. Oh. You. Oh. <laughs> They have my ears have enough room in here. If you guys have big ears out there, you might want to look at the O'Neill helmet. But they have enough room. The problem, um, like whenever I put headphones on, is they squeeze my ears and it's really uncomfortable. I was kind of worried about a full face helmet having that effect, and they it doesn't does have that have effect. Spot for your ears in there? It feels like it does. Yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah. We got spot in the ears for them. And that's important. Your ears aren't your ears aren't big. They're just all cauliflower. Yeah, my ears are pretty and small. And just actually. so people know out there, those ears are hard as a rock. They're yeah, not soft. These ears here, people go, "Oh man, you still yeah. draining them?" No, you it, can't drain them. Last it's time all I drained cartilage. it, I was like fourteen. Yeah, you can't drain them anymore. It's cartilage now. It's all yeah. gnarled cartilage. It's just as hard as that helmet. Yeah. You know, it's just like a big rock, big nugget. I but, do have a few things I'd like to say though. If one thing is, make sure you all are subscribing when you watch, please. Uh, we don't ask that enough, I guess, because a lot of people watch it aren't subscribed. And another thing I'd like to say is uh, thank you to Burris Heat and Air for helping protect you. And yeah, let me let me give you a little bit more camera. No, I don't need more camera. Anyway, I just want to say that real quick. Dude, if that you know, makes the edit fine. You know what's fine, cool about this? You can take out this insert, and it's machine washable. This here. That's going to be nice, especially in Arkansas. It's as sweaty as you get here. Mm -hmm. You can take the innards out. But anyway, guys, well... Uh, I believe the uh, knee pads and the elbow pads, one set's $13.99, the other set is $14.99, so that's pretty budget. How do you know all this? Um, he was telling me different prices. Okay. He says, you know, we like to spend stuff yeah. on, we like to spend budget uh, money on uh, all of our biking equipment. Budget so money. he said on the knee pads and elbow pads, those are definitely budget, but he says, man, when it comes to protecting your head and your noggin, not so budget, this helmet goes for, I think it's $110 for this O'Neill helmet. I think it's $100. Man, uh, there will be some affiliate links in the... Um, Don't ask for comments. Description. Yeah. There will be some affiliate links in the description below, like we've mentioned. In the affiliate links in the description as well, there will be a buy us a cup of coffee link. So if you guys want to help support the channel, you can buy us a cup of coffee. And um, there will also be a link to Burr Seat and Air down there to their Facebook page. So uh, appreciate y'all watching Wolf Tick videos. I can't wait to use this helmet this weekend. All right.